everyone! Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited about this one. So today I have for you a art class workbook flip through. So I'm really excited about this. Let's get into it. So my art teacher is actually Courtney Sanford and this is her book that we worked through in her class. It's called Reflections on Art History, Paint Your Way Through Art History. So basically the concept is like major movements and significant pieces and you go and you paint them and you learn from them and yeah. So that's what the class is and this is her book. It's really beautiful. You can tell I've used it in an art class with some paint on it. It's a little bent. but. It's really nice. So I want to show you a little bit, a bit of it. So basically what it is, is it will have a section. She shows you a piece of work and then gives you some helpful things of how to like create the piece and a little bit of history on it. So it's a really fun book. Um, and it has, it goes through pretty much like all of the major documented time, which is really fun. And so if you're interested in this book, I will link it in the description below. I love Miss Sanford and I love her book. So I painted this art book's cover because I wanted something a little more than black, but I also haven't finished it and accidentally scratched off a little bit of it, but I'm excited to show you guys what's actually inside. So first off, we have a ancient painting lesson and we did cave paintings. So I needed to spray it up here, but I haven't, so that's why there's charcoal all over that page. But basically I did the scene with um, little people. There's a fire here, little people with spears and all a variety of animals. So I used acrylic and charcoal. And I really enjoyed trying to add motion and like interest into like the people that are around in this. So this was a really fun one. Um, then we have learning about ancient Mycenaean culture and we learned about the Mycenaeans and their interest in both pottery and uh, aquatics and like that kind of stuff so I tried to do like an aquatic floral something here so it was really fun to paint a vase also then we have two different ones here. First, we have this illuminated word um, from like old Bibles and stuff that monks used to do. I, that's, I think that's right. <laughs> um, but it was fun. I picked Psalm 8 and I actually got to design this myself with lettering and painting like these little illustrations in here. So it was really fun. This is gold leaf actually, which was my first experience using gold leaf, which I also use over here on, this is a study of Burling Harrow, Burling Harry's um, painting Madonna and Child. So we used acrylic and gold leaf, and this one was really fun. I really enjoyed painting this one. It's one of my favorites out of the ones I've done. And here we have a blind contour, incredible, lovely blind contour. I can rest easy that I knew I was blindfolded when I drew this. <laughs> but I was doing a blind contour of this tree, which this is um, off of a painting Giotto did. And we actually made our own paint for this brown, which we use like cumin, paprika, cinnamon. It, it smells like tacos whenever I open this page. So this one is fun. It was fun to be able to make our paint. Oh, we also mixed it with eggs. That's how we made it. So for this one, we actually did a study of Van Eyck's The Arnolfini Portrait, which is such a big and complicated painting that we just had to simplify it. So we did the little oranges in the windowsill. It's like that big in the painting of his whole thing, so it's like that much. So we did the oranges and it was like a light study, so we both did, did both a sketch and a painting in its acrylic, which was really fun. Um, then we have Michelangelo's Pieta, which this is um, just graphite um, or pencil. And we like did tonal things and we learned how to like use paper and pencil to trace like with a page, not <laughs> just <laughs> tracing with a pencil, but that's what this one was. We did like an angled shot of his sculpture because we were drawing off a sculpture. And this one, 
Hope you know what this one is. If you don't, that's okay. It's the Mona Lisa by Da Vinci. Um, and this one was really fun to work on like the background and stuff. I had lots of fun, especially her hands. They were fun. <laughs> This one is an unfinished beauty. Um, this is like a largely a perspective drawing, so I have just spent most of my time sketching on it, like lining things up. It's gonna be a pen and ink of Saint Jerome in his office by Durer. Oh. <laughs> I meant Saint Jerome in his study. But, and I will I'll put a little thing that says how what his name actually is because I can't really pronounce it well. Moving on, we have. Vermeer, which we did Delft tiles, which was like a Dutch um, kind of thing with like the blue on the white tile. So we got to make up our own design. So this was fun. And this side was Rembrandt. He did a lot of his own self portraits. So we drew his eyes of four of his self portraits. And then we got to choose two eyes of our own choice, which I chose and drew th those. And then drawing our own eyes. There's Lissa staring at me right there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's me right there again. <laughs> so portrait. <laughs> oh man. So here we have Thomas Cole's Oxbow, which this one was fun because we were learning a lot about like adding drama into our composition with like the dark to light. And so that was really fun. I accidentally closed this one apparently when it was still a little wet, which I thought it was dry, but it wasn't apparently. So it kind of ripped here. There's. Yeah, sad. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of empty pages. I'm so excited to fill. But that was a really fun walkthrough, flip through of my art book in progress and I hope you enjoy it. Next I have a very realistic real look at my artistic method which is messy. So I hope you enjoyed looking through my art book with me and I would love to know if you have any questions about any of this stuff. So if you do just leave it in the comments for me and yeah so let's get into the look at my messy process. <laughs> 